Welcome to my series from cookie cutter to creative crafts. Here we have a number of very cookie cutter turkeys. So do you like crafts like these? They're cute and pretty to look at. The problem is they're not developmentally okay. So let's do some crafts that are. So if you might have seen in the past, I sometimes like to use reference pictures um, when I'm not really sure how to really make them make a turkey, but I don't want them to do any one of those cookie cutter copycat runs ones. So what I did was I, I got a, I get these pictures from uh, Canva and I decided to do a couple of cartoony ones and some real ones. And then I start looking around and I think like, what, what can I give them that will be suggestive? Um, so, of course I have feathers. Uh, let, let me show you what I have. So these are some of the materials that at least we're starting off with. So I just kind of say, let's see, there are pieces, there are round, there are oval pieces in turkeys. I have some black ones. I have peach and browns. Um, then we have of course, all the feathers. And what I did also was, I don't know if any of them will notice, I did cut some of these things in different sizes because it does look like, you know, the neck of the turkey. So I just have these available. I have googly eyes, googly eyes some pom-poms, some toothpicks, straws, and then I do have papers available if they want to cut up anything else to add. And uh, now let's see what they do. And here's the setup ready to be collaged. Here's some snips of the two four-year-olds that I'm gonna show you their work. If you can get a sense of how differently they work. These are grandchildren, um, four-year-old, that's four-year-old boy. And then we have the four-year-old girl, and you see how randomly she's working, and more thought he uses during his work. Here she's trying to cut some legs. The skills, cutting skills, are not working so well, but she does manage finally. Not all four-year-olds have real cutting skills yet, but she does manage to get some out, puts them down, and uh, keeps working at it. So I have four um, that uh, my grandchildren have done for me. Now, these are two four-year-olds, and I always find it really very interesting. Actually, she is older than him, but um, sometimes some of the activities that I try to do I think, is this something that a four-year-old can do? I mean, I'm giving them this picture for reference, and I'm telling them, choose from the materials I gave you and see what you could do. So this is a four-year-old. He was able to uh, get the idea of the feathers and this piece. Um, I had some of these, he used that. He put on the googly eye. And this was my other, my granddaughter, the four-year-old, um, just putting things down. So some kids can do it at the young ages and some kids can't. But when they have the reference sheets, it gives them an idea. And you would think that they're gonna end up doing them very much the same. So this one uh, was my almost nine-year-old granddaughter and she was, she didn't want to do feathers. She didn't want to add any feathers. You always see that the, all the turkeys that are available are full of feathers. And she was making these designs, obviously following from here. And this one, this grandson was watching her do it. So he went back and he took a Sharpie and he was making the lines as well. He had finished his turkey, but he saw what she was doing. He asked for a Sharpie and went back and added the squiggles. So she also used one of these heads. Um, and then we have another grandchild who was, um, he's six, six. And six or seven, I'm not even sure, but 
He worked very carefully on this. He was looking, I'm not sure which one he was copying, but he had said he wanted to draw. He didn't want to use googly eyes. He wanted to draw, which was okay. And when he finished, I said to him, would you like to use any feathers? And he said, these are the feathers. So four very different ideas. And you would think that if you're going to give them the exact, you know, the red neck, with the head and the googly eyes and the feathers that they're really going to make a real looking turkey but look at how different they all are and that is the beauty of this way of doing art if you want to find out more about what's wrong with copycat cookie cutter crafts then go to my website eduart for number four kids you'll get a free mini course that will explain it all